In this video guide, I will answer a question that many OneDrive users have asked over the years, many times. And the question is, how do I download all OneDrive files to my PC? We are going to use two methods to do this. The first method is through the OneDrive app, that is, pre-installed on Windows PC. And the second method is through the web. So follow me as I teach you how you can do that so easily. Method number one and number two involve connecting your PC to the internet for us to be able to download all the files on your OneDrive. So here, my PC is already connected to the internet. So please connect your own PC to the internet. I run Windows 11 operating system on this computer, all right? Then by this side, you will see this OneDrive icon at the taskbar area, the bottom right, okay? All right, click on this OneDrive icon and then select settings. This opens this page, showing the account that is connected to the one drive that is made available on your pc all right so you can see the information here in my own case it can be outlook well it can be gmail so that's not a, a problem okay then by the side you can see some major tabs ensure that first you are on the account tab this place this one is selected this tab account okay is selected then after that get to this section choose folders Click on this choose folders. This will enable us to choose some folders on our OneDrive that we want to download the file into our PC. You can see here, files not in a folder, 26.3 megabyte is already selected. Okay, 2024 books is selected. So depending on the names of the folders that are made available on your OneDrive account, okay? Then here, personal vault is not selected because I don't have anything here, okay? So by, by default, you cannot select it. So I don't have anything in my personal vault. That is why it's reading 0.00 kilobyte. But if you have a file or files in your personal vault, don't worry, when we get to the web approach, you can do what? download the files from there, all right? So all these folders are selected except the personal broad, okay? So make sure that you select all these things, very important. After that, click on okay. Now we need to get to another tab, okay? On this place, click on sync and backup. Now under this sync and backup, scroll down and click on advanced settings. Then scroll down. You can see this place, files on demand. It's a OneDrive downloads cloud files to this PC the first time you open them. To change offline access to all your files, select an option. So here we want all these files that are available on OneDrive to be downloaded on our PC, okay? So click on download our files. Now it shows up this notification, download our files. This will use up to 100 MB megabytes of space on this PC and includes files currently set to free up space or online only. Files download when you are online and then you can use them offline okay so that's the clear message now the next step is to click on this so click on download button this opens the folder where these files are going to be downloaded all these that have this syncing icon shows you that these files are downloading if you get to the onedrive icon by this side you can see that it has that syncing sign. So it's showing us that 50.1 megabytes, 57, that is downloaded. So once 
all files are downloaded everything all these things you see here we change to tick good you can see that changes some of them are changing okay so just hold on until everything is being marked good you can see almost all is being ticked good right now and that is why you don't see that syncing icon here so these files now are now made available on our pc with these steps we took right now if maybe tomorrow you want to access those are one drive files offline you don't need to stress yourself just come to this start button and click and in this search area type one drive okay okay so i see it has suggested so click on it this shows all the one drive files all the files that are available on your one drive including your folder that are now available here on your pc so you can open anyone you want to open or copy anyone you want to copy or use anyone you want to use for any particular task okay that is for method number one so let's go and learn method number two method number two is through the web so open your browser here i'm using microsoft edge so i'll click on it for you to open as the edge browser opens visit onedrive.com okay you can see it here this lands you on the home page okay which you can call my files so ensure that you are on my files tab very important if maybe by default you are landed on photos or shared please you wouldn't be able to download your files okay so ensure that you are on my drive so you can see now this is my files so ensure you are on my files this is my files tab so click on that so once you are on this tab you can do what select the folders and possibly the files and download all of them at once so let's see how we do that then come to this place and click on this we want to download everything into our pc okay once you check on one you can take your cursor here and check this so this means that all the folders and the files should be selected so everything is now selected so as everything is selected you can see we have only delete button made available the reason for this is because personal vote is also selected and personal vote comes with extra level of security don't worry i will guide you on how we are going to download the files in this personal vote okay so and uncheck this so click on this for it to be unchecked good now once it's unchecked you can see some options here and one of them is download so click on download you can see the zip file of containing all the files we have in this our onedrive account is being downloaded so be patient for everything to be downloaded into your computer now the zip file has been downloaded into our pc so let's go and check it out so click on file explorer as it opens click on downloads because by default it's going to be in the downloads folder okay then look at onedrive 20240511 that's today's date okay so double click on it for it to open you can see the individual files and the folders we have on that our onedrive account so let's get back to the um the web platform to see what you can do to that personal world so i'll close this now let's now click here and click again to uncheck everything now personal vote was our problem when we are trying to download from the web initially the reason why it's happened like that is because personal vote comes with extra level of security microsoft created it so that you can place some sensitive files inside of it so let's click on it and see how we can assess what is inside on clicking on the personal vote you will see a window of this kind okay so click on this space okay just click here on this new page they will give you hint on your recovery email address so type the full email address here okay so i'll type mine here after that click on send code a code has now been sent to the recovery email address so i'll type the code here okay then click on verify so with this 
click on this same personal vault to be allowed full access okay good you can see we have a file here that's beautiful so for you to download this file just click on it for it to be selected and you see some buttons here click on download and this file is now downloaded and saved in the downloads folder of my file explorer it's that simple i hope this guide helps you please if it does help consider subscribing to this channel by hitting the subscribe button also hit the like button and leave a comment here we teach more on technology so i want you to learn as much as you can in the field of tech it will help you find so many opportunities if you want to have deeper knowledge on one tribe watch this video see you next time